Good morning. Today we are going to continue our lesson about the peripheral nervous system. Before talking about the autonomic nervous system, we should understand the meaning of homeostasis. Homeostasis means maintaining balance of internal, physical and chemical conditions. So by releasing of certain chemicals like neurotransmitters or hormones, the balance is maintained for all the internal organs. We said that the autonomic nervous system regulates certain body processes such as blood pressure and the rate of breathing. This system works automatically or autonomously without any conscious effort. So for the autonomic nervous system, it controls all the involuntary processes inside the body, like the heart rate, the breathing process, and so on. It's affecting the smooth and cardiac muscles and also the glands. In this case, neurotransmitters such as acetylcholine or norepinephrine are released to control these processes. In case of autonomic nervous system, it can be excitatory, meaning it can provide you with more energy and increase your heartbeats and breathing rate or it, it can work on the opposite side and be inhibitory so it can decrease your heartbeats your breathing rate and so on autonomic nervous system is controlled by homeostatic centers in the brain like the hypothalamus gland and medulla oblongata which is part of the brain in the autonomic nervous system in the autonomic nervous system nervous carries impulses from the central nervous system to the heart and to other internal organs the body will respond involuntary not under conscious control Autonomic nervous system is responsible for what we call the fight or flight. When you go under extreme stress or extreme emotional situation. Based on this, the autonomic nervous system is divided into two subdivisions. The sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the part which is responsible for the fight or flight situation because it gets active in case of emergency or stress. So it will cause increase in the heart rate and the breathing rate provide you with more energy to, to be prepared for this stressed situation. In case of parasympathetic nervous system, counterbalance the effect of sympathetic nervous system. So it can be described as the rest and digest system. Meaning, in case of high heartbeats or high breathing rate, the parasympathetic nervous system will return these heartbeats to the normal or to the resting state. So, in case of the sympathetic nervous system, it will dilate your eye pupil, it will increase your heart rate, it will increase your breathing rate, but at the same time it can inhibit some unnecessary processes that you, do, you don't need right now, like digestion, you will need this blood which will flow to your stomach and other more important parts. It also will relax the muscles in your bladder to stop the urination process. The parasympathetic nervous system will return your body to the resting state, meaning it will constrict your eye pu pupil 
it will return your heart beats to the normal it will constrict the bronchi so it will decrease your breathing rate and now you can complete digesting food inside your stomach and it will get your bladder to the normal these are some of the effects of the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system on different organs like we said the eye and sympathetic nervous system the pupil will dilate and in parasympathetic nervous system when you are back to rest the pupil will constrict and so on that's it for today thanks for watching